Hi guys, so I'm just going to be doing a video on live showing q and A. I'm not going to get into like anything like rules or anything, I'm just going to answer the questions. Because this is my third time videotaping this and I do not want to videotape it anymore, I just want to get it uploaded and move on to like my other five videos I need to upload, because my camera only videotapes one at a time because then it says the memory card's full and whatever. So yeah. What is a live show? A live show is where you take your LSQ model, so example, Saya. My LSQ Peter Stone. That has 15 made of him. He's my baby. I love him. He is worth like 120 bucks and I got him for 85. So, fine for good deals at uh, shows. So, yeah. And you take your LSQ models and you put them on a table. And you allow the judge to judge the model. And, yeah. So, I'm just going to go over like the calling out for the show. Like, the, the classes. So, say I'm showing this guy. And he's part bright era because of his paint markings. But, um, so, part bred Arab, he'll, they'll say, what is it, part bred Arab class open, last call, part Arab class, part Arab class closed, and then he'll judge, he'll, he or she will judge, and then they'll call, um, part bred Arab class pinned, and that means all the ribbons are next to your horse and whatever if you want a ribbon. So, yeah. Um, what do you put on tags? This is for region 11, I think I'm in, but, um, you put your name on the back, so it's really a string tag like this. I printed this off Google. Um, just search in price, blank price tags, and it'll come up with, like, seven, it'll be like, I don't know how to explain it, it'll say blank price tags or whatever. You can find whatever, and you can enlarge it on Google, um, or not Google, Word. And yeah, and cut them out if you can't find tags around where you live, which is me. <laughs> um, but you'll have your name on the back, horse's name, show name for the horse breed, and gender. G gender? Gender. Don't judge me. Okay, but um, what horse do you think will show well? That's the judge's opinion. This girl... I didn't think we'll show what what blah, 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 would show well at all because she has a flaw in her. But I guess the judge really liked her. But the judge isn't or the judge the flaw isn't that noticeable. Um, it took me like three days to notice it, so it's really hard to notice. And if I show her in the shade, you can barely see it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna continue showing her in the shade. But um. What's the best show you've been to? My only show I've been to, where I got overall grand champion, so... Yeah, they gave me a chocolate bar. Yeah, okay. But anyway, um... How can you meet people off social websites like Facebook and Instagram? Go to popular shows like Carolina Gold Classics. And everything like that. I can only think of one popular show. Briarfest! But from what I've heard, Briarfest is a really hard show. In there. I want to go there, but it's three days away. Or like four days away of straight driving. Yeah. And plane tickets are like a grand each for one way. Yeah. So. I may never go. Um. How did you name your horses? What kind of came to mind, really? Arabic names for Arabians. This girl, I just came up with Red Rum because she's Red Rum. And just thought Red Rum. Why not? She's cute. She's a baby. She's my favorite classic out of my... Two, four, six, eight, ten... Eleven classics. How do you find a breed? Research breeds. Yeah. A lot of research and reference cards. Like this. This is just a plain reference card. It's got background and characteristics on it. Is there a website to find shows? Yes. Yam. Nay. Namshaw. <laughs> um. But yeah. Or you can just research on Google for shows like model horse shows in, say, Kentucky area. Because I don't live in Kentucky. So I just thought I'd throw. Things that I know nobody that lives there, so, yeah. 
just because I don't want people being stalkerish. But yeah. How do you travel safely with horses? Pony pouches, which I don't have right now. I'm making them. I've got a big blanket over there for it. Which I'm going to be cutting up. Into pony pouches. Okay. Um, or t if you don't have a custom, wrap their head and their tail and other extremities that can be easily chipped off or broken off. And wrap it in a clean rag or blanket or pillowcases. I've seen people do that. Bubble wrap. Whatever you think will be good. What do I need to bring? Pencils, pens, paints, in case there's an accident, pastels, paint brushes, booklet, like a little book to write stuff down in, encyclopedia if you get a new horse, like, <clears throat> an encyclopedia like this. It's got a bunch of breeds in the back. I just flipped a throwbird. Mm -hmm. Um, um, phone for searching up breeds in case you get a new horse or names or whatever. Money. Um, bunnies, which is kind of obvious. How much money should I bring? Whatever you think you'll need. I want to bring a lot of money so I can get a lot of ponies because I didn't, I only brought 40 bucks last time because I didn't have time to save up because I found out about it like a week before and I only saved up about 40 bucks and my dad luckily bought me two stones and three classics so I was really happy yeah and found out that they were both special runs for 2012 and one had 15 made of it so yeah and how much money should I bring well right now um, um April okay May June July so in three months I should have a lot of money but for right now I'm already at $170 or 110 I want to get a couple hundred dollars, just in case I find a pony I really want, and it's really expensive. Because last time I found a horse that I really wanted, and it ended up selling, because I didn't have money for it. But he's a pretty Arab, Pindir, Swiss tail, I believe. WA Studios got him, so I'm happy that she got him. But, yeah, so, I'll see you guys later, bye!